Hi everyone, I just returned from Florence, Italy where I was teaching a painting workshop and I have to tell you, honestly, I took way too much stuff with me. So I thought I would do another video addressing packing. Also packing, but setting up your plein air rig and also carrying your gear around town. When we were in Florence, we did quite a bit of walking and you're gonna to wanna to be able to comfortably carry your gear to whatever site you're painting at. Okay, so let's just quickly go through what I, what I plan on bringing with me in September, because again, I brought way too much stuff with me in this last trip. Okay, so the first thing is most important is my uh, pastel box. This is the small Heelman box. Um, I find this to be very adequate just to have to do a little bit of planning and get all the duplicates out of your box, all the almost imperceptible duplicates, and make sure that you have half or quarter sticks. So you can get a nice selection, and I think, um, at least I'm very happy with this selection when I'm painting plein air. And it's nice and lightweight, very manageable for me. Okay. That's obviously the most important. Then I need a tripod and I have an Easy L um, by Artwork Essentials. And in here, I'll just show you really quick, is my um, easel set up for my Heelman box. And I'll show that to you later, how that goes together. All right, what else am I bringing with me? I have a handbag, a little purse. Um, this one's um, really great for travel. It has a security um, handle on it and a nice sturdy zipper, so I feel pretty secure and it goes over my shoulder. I'm also bringing a Kindle, no books, just the Kindle. I also have this mesh bag and I'll show you how I go about putting all this together to be able to carry on everything. And next is my one piece of luggage. If I can get it open here. All right, what do I got in here? Let's go through a few of these things. It becomes important. All right, so in the one side, I've got my sundry bag. Everybody needs that. Then, a couple other things that are of interest. In here, this is a little handy item that I think is um, worthwhile. This is a backpack. If I could get it to unzip here. Here we go. This folds out and it's a little backpack. And this is really nice for uh, putting my art supplies I can even put my little Heelman box on my back, all right? So that's really handy. Then I have one of these little goodies. Whoop. Nice and lightweight, everything nice and lightweight and portable. So this is one of these little bags. Okay, I've got one of these. All right, so now I've got my backpack, got this. Now, in here are just a very few art supplies. I've got a little watercolor set, a bungee cord. It doesn't, you know, have to be a big one. This is very, very important, and you might want to bring two of these. This is the, the little um, tripod connector. It goes on the bottom of my pastels and connects with the tripod. If you don't have that, you're kind of stuck. So that might be a good thing to have some redundancy with. All right, and then I've just got a couple of pencils, a couple of ballpoint pens, which I like to draw with, and a couple Sharpies. I've also just got one little extra clip. And in here are some vitamin C. All right, so this all goes back in here. The other thing I have in here is this is a little um, 
lightweight pillow that I can inflate for the plane ride. Okay, I like to have this too. It's a long plane ride to Italy. All right, moving on. I have an extra pair of glasses. And I find that this is really important. And on this past trip, I had one of my students, she actually took a little bit of a spill. A lot of the terrain in, in the Italy streets, it's a little uneven and she, she caught an edge and she took a little spill and she actually um, scratched her lenses. She was fine, she was okay, luckily. Okay, next, a couple other important items. Gonna wanna have a wide brimmed hat for sure. And there's all kinds of different ones to get. I, I like this one because it's got a nice wide brim and it does pack pretty decent. So I've got that. Now, um, the other thing I have in here is I have a charger for my phone. And this is an important piece of um, equipment um, because I'm only bringing my phone, not an extra camera. I'm not bringing a DSLR or, 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 or even a, a, another small camera, just my phone. It just so happens when you're traveling in Europe, I'm not really sure why, why but the phones really suck the, the battery life. So you're gonna wanna have an a, a external charger because you're not gonna wanna miss those photos. You don't want your phone to um, run out of battery life. So um, this charger, this is a, um, there's lots of different ones on the market. This one I think was about $30. So this has a little connector that connects into here. Now this is a connector for the plug, but then what you also need when you get to um, Europe is one of these. So it's gonna go like this. And so this is gonna plug into their outlets there. So this is a pretty important piece, little piece of equipment or something that does this work for you. Okay, what else have I got in here? I've got some clothes. Um, I Next time I'm gonna be really careful about what I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring one pair of shoes. That, I'm gonna have one pair of shoes that I'm wearing on the plane. And it's September, so just a pair of sandals. A few skirts. Skirts are really nice when you're there. It's gonna be hot, at least when I'm there in September. So just a couple skirts. Um, one thing that I must say um, for us ladies <laughs> is um, this skirt is from, I bought this at REI. And I like this for plein air painting because it's got great pockets. I can put my phone in here. I can put a, you know, a couple things in, in, um, this, in these pockets. So I really, really like this. It's not the most stylish thing in the world, but it really does the trick and it's nice and cool. Okay. Um, the other thing that you might want to think about is a, a scarf. Um, it's nice to have something like this because a lot of the churches that you visit, they want you to have your shoulders covered. So if you're wearing a sleeveless top, you need to have something over your shoulders to, to walk through the churches. They usually kind of let you in, but they kind of tap you on the shoulder and ask you to leave if you don't have your shoulders covered sometimes. So something like this is really great because you can just, um, it's lightweight and walk around with it. All right, so enough with the clothes. Don't need too much. Last time I brought way too much. You also want to have a little bit of room in your, in your suitcase. You might want to do some shopping, so if you leave a little bit of room, that's a good thing, right? Okay, so now we're down to the art supplies. In here, I have this little tube, and those of you who know me, now that I bring along this little feather duster in the tube that I can clean my pastels off with. Also in the same tube, I have a bristle brush that if I wanna do some watercolor underpainting with, I have that at the ready. Okay, so that all goes in here together. Okay. Now the other thing I have and here is a 
sketchbook. I have decided not to bring my uh, good sketch, I'm gonna call good sketchbooks with me on trips such as going to Italy. They're just too precious to me. So I bring something like this and I can always transfer sketch pages into a more substantial sketchbook when I get home. And that way, if I lose it, something happens, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. All right, so there's that hairbrush. And lastly in here at the bottom, and this is cut to the size of my suitcase, so that'll be individual to whatever suitcase you have, is two pieces of foam core clipped together. This is gonna serve as my backing board, and it also is gonna transport any finished pastels back home in, I'm just gonna put pieces of glassine in between. All right, so that is my gear. Um, then I have this little mesh bag here that has all my power cords in it. I have my Kindle charger. I have my um, phone, phone charger here and a couple other little goodies that I need for my video stuff. Okay, now we're gonna get set up with the gear to do some plein air painting. Okay, now that I have this on here, this just slides. Hopefully really easily. <laughs> there we go. And then you wanna tighten this on here. It's right about the right level for me. All right, once I've got that, grab my easel attachment. Spin that around. level. Okay, and that goes right there. And it's pretty tight and it's meant to be. So I have that. Put my backing on here. Adjust this down. And I am ready to go. You may want to, if you have brought with you your, your lunch and maybe some other personal comfort items, some uh, little, little bit of art supplies. One thing that's smart to do, I think, I kind of like to keep all my stuff kind of round, <laughs> around me and I want to keep it all together. So I try to keep everything in my sketchbook. Try to keep it all kind of tidy so I don't lose track of anything. This is my little handy backpack that I've hopefully brought with me. I just put my bungee cord on here and what I like to do is just give my setup just a little extra weight. If you need even more weight, if it's, if it's windy, you can grab a rock or something nearby to give your setup a little bit more weight. But this is essentially what I'm gonna do when I'm out plein air painting. And so this is a pretty easy, lightweight setup. Very, very portable. Okay, last but not least is paper. You're gonna need to bring some amount of paper with you. And that's really up to you how much you wanna bring, how fast a painter you are, how much painting time you're gonna do outside the workshop. The paper that I'm most fond of right now is pastel matte. And one of the things that's really great about this paper comes in a variety of different sizes of pads. And the pads come with glassine in between the pages, which makes it super handy for traveling. You can put just a little clip here and you're good to go. And this fits really nicely in your luggage. Um, but paper is heavy. So you don't want to load up too much and you don't want to have not enough because it's really difficult to get 
the exact paper that you like when you're traveling abroad. All right, so that's paper. Okay, one of the important aspects I find is the ease of carrying all the stuff that we've brought with us because we want to be able to have the energy once we get to the site to paint. We don't want to be too tired out. We want to be able to walk easily home. So um, I, I think each individual has to take into account their, their physical stamina and their physical ability. But I do think if you can get all of your gear such that your hands are free when you're walking with it all, that's the most ideal situation. So let me show you what, what I did when I was in Italy and one way of going about that. So I'm going to take everything apart. takes a little practice. One thing I also highly recommend if you are new to plein air painting and you're planning on going to on a trip to Italy or abroad that you test drive your equipment. Do not get to that location and be fumbling around and asking your instructor or other students to take their time to help you figure out your gear. You want it really be familiar with it before you go because you really want to optimize your painting time. If you're spending half of the day figuring out your gear, that's no fun. And at the end of the day, you're going to feel like, oh, geez, I didn't get any painting in. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, fold this up. I'm going to leave this little clip on here. I know where it is, so that's fine. Got my tripod, I'm gonna take a little handle off. Just be really mindful and keep track of all your stuff. You don't want to be losing these little parts. And there's you know quite a few little moving parts to all this. Take off the little backpack. I've got this, and I'm just gonna push it all together like so, and then open up these, all, open up all of them, and then really easy, just clip them all down. Just kind of take your time. All right, put this back in here. This fits pretty easily in there. Now, I've got this. So, a couple different ways I can go about this. And for me, I want to carry the heavy stuff on my back. I'm drawing stuff, viewfinder, any little items. Yeah. I want to put my bungee cord inside here. Just want to keep everything really compact and really together. At the end of a painting day, you might be really tired. So just be really conscious and slow down. You're also going to be wanting, in addition to this, to bring some personal comfort items, bug spray, sunscreen, and definitely some water. So that's going to add a little bit of weight. So that's really easy on my back. Now I've got this little bag. Works really great for the backing board and my paper. I'm all set. Got that. I've got my hat that I've been wearing to keep the sun off of me. And now I've got my tripod. And there we go. That goes over my shoulder. And this one goes over my other shoulder. And I am ready to walk back. Okay. And 
as you see, hands are free, pretty easy. I don't feel overburdened at all. Um, and I'm really uh, ready to go and hopefully I did a really wonderful piece. <laughs>